All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the My Tesla channel. My name is Jeremiah, and in this video, we're going to be taking a first look at the brand new, just released, official Tesla CCS Combo 1 adapter. If it'll focus, there we go. I'm going to be taking it out, using it, and letting you all know if I think it's worth its $250 price tag. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, wait, I've seen these out in the wild before. I've seen people posting that they're using it and everything. What are you talking about? It's not brand new. Well, up until a few days ago, you actually couldn't buy this directly from Tesla here in the States. This was only available on the Korean Tesla website. There was ways to get it, which is how people have it. Um, and that was via ordering it from the Korean website and then getting it sent to a forwarding service. And then of course they would forward it to you. That wasn't much more expensive than what it would cost you to get it now, probably like 50, 60 upwards of maybe $100 more. Uh, but Tesla eventually shut that down. So the only other way to get it was paying third party prices. So anywhere from like 400 to, I even saw someone pay upwards of $700 for this thing, which is pretty painful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling footage of the unboxing. When you get it in, it's literally just a box with the adapter in it. There's no instructions or anything. I don't think you actually need instructions. Uh, but yeah, when you see pictures of it, or at least when I saw pictures of it, uh, on the website, it looked pretty like plasticky, low quality, didn't really look like it was sturdy. Uh, but when you get it in hand, I mean, this thing is a brick. It weighs about one and a half, uh, close to two pounds. Uh, so yes, it is very, very sturdy. Now, besides that, there's nothing else really to say about it. The only other thing there is to mention is that, yes, there is a locking mechanism for this adapter. Now, if you have the J1772, uh, adapter that comes with the car or used to come with the car. I think it's the J1772. It's this thing right here, if it'll focus. Uh, you'll know that these do not lock on their own. So if you were to just plug something into this and plug it into your car, someone could just come in, unplug it, and there's nothing you can do about it because these don't lock. The CCS one does lock. Now there actually is a way to get these to lock. It's via these right here. They're just like little locking mechanisms. I'll have this one linked up down below, uh, but there's a bunch of them that you can get, but I'll have this one linked on Amazon. You could, I think two of them are like 10, 20 bucks. They're like super cheap to get. Uh, and it essentially just makes it to where someone tries to unplug as long as this part uh, won't come out, then the actual like plug won't come out. So I'll have this linked up down below. I think everyone should carry this, but no, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head on over. I have a local Electrify America, which has a CCS 350 kilowatt adapter, and we're gonna see how this bad boy performs. All right. So I ended up waiting um, a little bit later. So these are actually pretty uh, popular Electrify America chargers. It's in a Walmart. It's so weird. It's like every supercharger I'm at's in a Meyer, and every Electrify America is in a Walmart parking lot. So, uh, but these. So the, as far as I know, there's four stalls. One of them's unavailable. Uh, so two stalls are 350, one stall is a 150 with a Chatamo, the other two are CCS 350s. Um, and uh, as far as I know, the way Electrify America works is that you can either have the app, which I looked into and I'll talk about later, uh, but you should just be able to pull up and do like a mobile payment. So like either Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, whatever. Uh, or if you have like a wireless, uh, what, what, what's it called? tap to pay yeah so i looked at these and i believe that the one on the far end you know what we're just going to pull in to the one right there i just about said which side is my gas tank on <laughs> wait my charge point is on that side isn't it mm -hmm. all right well you're just getting the raw footage raw uncut content I'll probably chop this up a little bit. Okay, all right, let's <laughs> let's try this again. It feels so weird finally like pulling in these. I said a while ago, I was like, one day I'm gonna be able to charge here. All right, hang on. So, uh, ooh, I think, oh my God, these cords are super long. So this is a 350 number two. Yeah, that'll that'll easily reach. So let's put this back in there. Okay, so I lied. It looks like you actually can do a normal like card payment. Oh my God, these are weird. Oh, and they click in. I, I do like how they click. Uh, superchargers don't do that. So 
either I, I i mentioned the app so apparently you can like pull up tell it what star you're at and it'll do like the whole you don't have to pull out a card it just automatically charges the card to your account but i said i mentioned that later which i will uh but so we should just be able to go ahead and like get all this set up as i attempt to put this behemoth of a uh of an adapter on i might need to grab my wallet though so right in here So adapter, and then this is slot number two. So this right here needs to go up when you unhook it. So that's what I mentioned earlier when I said that this has a locking mechanism because when this goes into your car and this pushes up against it, a little bolt comes out in the on the inside and it prevents this from going up. So you don't need a like a special lock for it. So just there we go. And now let's come right over here. Let's open this up and let's... All right, there we go. And now right here on the screen, it says connecting to vehicle, initializing, initiating charging. I can't, I can't read. I think I'm gonna need to go get my wallet. Just keep recording that. charge screen popped up on the inside okay so right here there's no session fee but it's 32 cents a minute i'm not really too sure how these work uh i believe i need to oh oh wow so it's charging without me paying so i'm not really too sure how they're going to charge me for this like, can I just charge up and leave? I know some Electrify America stations are free, but I'm like 99% sure this isn't free. Hang on, so let's run and hop in the car and see what kind of uh, speeds we're getting. Here. Oh, yeah. I'm not 100% sure how uh, we're charging right now, but we're charging and let's see here. We're getting 75 kilowatts. That's that's weird. It didn't charge me. Is it like a post thing? Like it won't let me unconnect it unless I pay? No, yeah, I'm not sure how this is working. Uh, you know what? I This is going to be the biggest, like, I'm so stupid if this is just a free charger. It says $0 a session plus 32 cents a minute. So what happens if I just unplug and just drive off? I, I couldn't tell you. Right now, it's currently delivered uh, three three kilowatts, and I mean it. I mean, you all saw that it it went in so I mean smooth. It took me a second because I'm you know because of the bar, but it, everything worked all right. I, there wasn't any error or anything, and it, it we went through. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this back on in a second and see uh, exactly like kind of what happens we, oh it looks like we actually have another ev pulling up i think i'll ask him if this is a free station or not because it's very like we're just kind of ask him how it works all right so i just ended up setting it to 70 percent. so we're coming up on 70 percent. i wonder exactly what's gonna happen when we hit 70 percent. like will it i mean I, I know the car won't like let oh well, okay then i just got a notification that I finished charging so now let's hop out and let's see. I'm going to grab my wallet. Okay. Just in case it like, I, I don't know if this is like on the honor system or what's it on. So please unplug grace period 10 minutes after idle. So as you can see here, we went from 43 to 69. It took 17 minutes at 32 cents a minute. Total is 545. So let's go ahead and with this you can't like undo this you got to pull this straight out all right so i just put it back in and then this pops up assessing charging and now it shows a discount of something and it's well it's gone so that was completely free so that's actually kind of crazy that that's free we'll pick back up in just a second i don't want to disturb the other people charging here uh we'll pick back up when i'm home to kind of discuss 
what exactly happened. So, made it home and wanted to go over some closing thoughts about the adapter. First up, the adapter itself was fantastic. Uh, very easy to put on, take off, put it in the car. I did realize, however, that you can 100% just put the adapter in the car and then the CCS into the adapter. Uh, instead of like how I did it, which was to put the adapter on and then put the whole thing into the car. The only thing you need to know is that if the adapter is in the car and the CCS is connected to it, you need to take the entirety of the unit out. So adapter and CCS at once. It will not let you undo the CCS if the adapter is in the car and the CCS, of course, connected to it. That's just how the locking mechanism works. Uh, next up, charging speeds. Uh, never really got above 85 kilowatt hours. Uh, not really too surprising because I wasn't at a low state of charge. Um, and I mean, even when I'm at like a supercharger, even if it's like a V3 and I'm not sharing with anyone, uh, which wait, wait, no, I'm, I'm gonna say V2 because V3s don't share. Uh, you, you still won't get anywhere near that. Like I would say that's pretty average. What I would average at a V2, V3 supercharger, V2, if not being shared. Uh, so I mean, yeah, charging speeds were great. Maybe if I was at a lower state of charge, it would have went faster. As far as I know, this, uh, CCS uh, adapter is not rated for anything above 250 or at least that's what it says on the box um, but yeah overall a great experience why it was free well I ended up talking to a BMW driver that pulled up and was charging and uh, I'm not take this with a grain of salt but he stated that they were doing maintenance on these chargers and so they were free for the time being and that it happens a lot so they're free a lot of the times and he charges a lot at night because they're free I I don't know I know that these are not free chargers uh, because I've seen people charging there and, you know, pulling out their cards and charging them. So I, I know that they're not free, uh, chargers, uh, but mine was free. So, I mean, first experience was fantastic. Now, I also wanted to mention the app or I mentioned the app prior and I wanted to come back to it. The app, you don't need it. Like, I mean, you all saw tonight, I did not pull out the app once. Anytime I referred to getting a notification, I was talking about the Tesla app. Uh, but the Electrify America app, you hundred percent do not need it. Uh, if you're just going to use this thing every now and then, maybe on a road trip, uh, you don't need it at all. Now, it probably would be nice to have because you can essentially see all the Electrify Americas in your immediate vicinity, how much they cost, how many are available, what's unavailable, uh, the speeds, all that stuff. Um, but within the app, you it's weird. I tried setting up a plan because if you set up the app properly, you should be able to pull up, tell it what stall you're at, and then you don't need to pull out a card, it'll just auto charge it and then you can start charging. Uh, whereas if you didn't do that, then you'd pull out your card and uh, pay for it. But there's like multiple different plans or there's two different plans. One's a free plan. It, I don't think it does anything. I think it literally just gives you the ability to pay without pulling out your card. And it also gives you the ability to like get notified when your car's done charging if you don't have a car app that does that. But I mean, we have Teslas, so it doesn't matter. Um, and you have the ability to stop charging if you like made your charge limit too high than what you wanted it. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing I see for the free plan, why you would get it. Um, and then the paid plan, which is $4 a month, gives you 25% off charging, which the total cost for 17 minutes and I got 23 kilowatt hours was, would have been like $5 and something. The equivalent of that 23 kilowatt hours at a at my local supercharger would have been upwards of like $8 or more. So it's already pretty cheap. And then if you throw that 25% discount on top of it, you would more than make up enough uh, for that $4 or you would more than make up for that $4 if you charged at these, that CCS uh, Electrify Americas a lot. I'm personally not gonna get it because I mean, it's already cheaper than supercharging, which was my only other option, but uh, plus, I mean, I don't supercharge or fast charge a lot, like literally 99% of my charging is done at home. But uh, yeah, if you do a lot of charging and you're closer to an Electrify America, then the plan could be worth it for you. You just kind of got to ask yourself that. Uh, but yeah, no, overall, do I think it's worth it? I mean, 100%. You just opened yourself up to thousands of more chargers that are fast charging, like, like supercharger speed charging no it's not as elegant now you don't you don't just pull up get out plug in get back in you don't got to worry about a single thing but i mean you go to a supercharger it's full maybe it's down which the the probability of a supercharger being down and electrify america being up is a completely different story uh but i mean a supercharger is full there's a long wait 
Uh, it's further away. You know, Electrify America could 100% be there. I think that it'd be better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, which is why I bought it. So do I think it's worth it? Yeah. 100%. But that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new and you want to see more Tesla related content, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Got a lot of big things coming. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to drop a like and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.